Kara here, the Discovery Center, and I'm here to do a really fun, steamy art science project with you today. Today we're going to be learning about gravity. Gravity is the force that pulls objects toward each other. So here's something really interesting about gravity. The larger an object is, the more force it has. So what's the biggest object in our solar system, Miss Kate? The sun. The sun is the biggest object in our solar system. Now we know that what goes up must come down, right? And that's pretty good because it wouldn't really be fun to play ball if the ball never came down when you threw it in the air, right? So gravity is the reason that happens. The sun is the biggest object in our solar system. So the sun has the most force. The sun is pulling everything toward it. Everything. The sun wants everything to come toward it. The Did you know that even the earth is being pulled by the sun? It's what? true. It's true. And even the moon is being pulled by the earth, which is being pulled by the sun. sun. And even the ocean is being pulled by the moon, which is being pulled by the earth, which is being pulled by the sun. sun. You know what else? Even a ship on the ocean is being pulled by the ocean, which is being pulled by the moon, which is being pulled by the earth, which is being pulled by the sun. sun. Even the hat on the captain's head is being pulled by the captain, which is being pulled by the ship, which is being pulled by the ocean, which is being pulled by the moon, which is being pulled by the earth, which is being pulled by the sun. Yes. Okay. That's how gravity works. Everything is being pulled by the sun. And that's why things fall down to the ground. Now, what does that have to do with art and science? Well, today we're going to make a painting, but we're not going to be the only artist. We're going to let gravity make the painting with us. So we don't know how it's going to turn out because it's going to be up to gravity to decide. All right, here we go. All you need is a piece of paper or a, a canvas if you've got it. Oh, before we start though, I've got to show you all these beautiful examples from my Create Scientist class. We did this lesson not very long ago and they created some beautiful works of art. Aren't they gorgeous? And we had a ton of fun too. So we're gonna do the same thing today. You can use paint, you can use food color, you can even use markers and water. And you can just draw a circle with the marker, markers and then put water on it. Today we're going to use paint and I'm just going to pour it right on there. I'm going to put, I'm going to do mine this direction. You can do it that direction. You can do it that direction. You can do it that direction. It doesn't matter because it's still going to be awesome. I'm going to do it this direction. I'm going to put circles just as many colors as you want. You can make it match your room. You can make them as gifts. If you do it on paper, you can turn the paper into cards and send it to your grandparents and tell them you miss them and you'll see them soon. Look at all these beautiful colors. You know what? The more color, the better. More color. Okay. Now, because I don't want any of this wonderful paint to go to waste. I also have another canvas underneath it. It's like two for the price of one. I'm gonna make two pieces of art at the same time. Oh, oh, it already started. See, gravity has a mind of its own, doesn't it? All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna turn it up. What's it gonna do? Whatever it wants. Now I can change the direction Isn't that awesome? And you know what else I can do? I can give it a little help with air. <gasps> oh my goodness, I love that look. Do you see that? Oh, that's awesome. Now my air is kind of disturbed 
absorbing the gravity because I have a strong force of air and it's making it go a different way, but it's still gonna end up going down to the bottom. Now, because a little is never enough for me, I'm gonna do more. More, more. Tell me the colors you like, Miss Kate. Which one do you want me to do? Ooh, I like, well, I like purple and Ooh, pink. Ooh, love it, love it. Some of bright yellow. Hey, that bright yellow reminds me of the sun. Woo, the sun is doing what? What is it doing? It's pulling everybody towards it. It's pulling everybody. You know, the sun is my favorite star. It should be all of our favorite star because it keeps us alive, doesn't it? Oh, a little more pink. Need some more pink. Now, a little more there. Love it, love it, love it. All right. So this is an example of gravity painting. And if you signed this painting, like artists do when they sign a piece of art that they've created, you would have to put Kara and gravity because I had a whole lot of help, didn't I? So thanks for joining us today. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do this some more on my, on my other piece of art down here. So have fun. And if you make any gravity paintings, send us a picture of them, okay? Send it to the Discovery Center and we'll put it up on our Facebook and show everybody the beautiful art that you created from science. All right, thanks again.